anymore. Hello! <laughs> Sorry, I don't know. I think that my shortcut keys have been like messed up or something because I was pressing the button to make it go into us and did an intro, but yeah, it didn't happen. Anyway, that's that's that done. So, hello! <laughs> Hope you're all doing well. Uh, if you don't know uh, Shuklia, this is my friend Shuklia who is over for an artist retreat for the next few days. So we've just been doing some art and projects and things. Oh, dungeon tribute, conscript Shuklia to fight and die. <laughs> <laughs> Every uh, Monday. Oh, today's Monday, isn't it? Normally I play Darkest Dungeon, which is the game that I played when we went to India. You remember oh. I played a game every so often? Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> You can rename the characters, yeah. and so what I've been doing is I've been getting people to volunteer to be a tribute, so then uh, like, I name a character after them. That yeah. character usually dies in an embarrassing and preventable way because of the way that I play. You can use me, that's fine. <laughs> okay, alright, I'll, I'll let you know how Shuklia goes. Sounds great. <laughs> alright, so uh, today we're going to be picking up from where we left off in My Immortal, if you weren't here last time, um, we are doing a drinking game version of, of reading out this fanfiction. Of course, we are not actually drinking because that would be against the, the Twitch terms and, and conditions or whatever it's called. Um, but in case you wanted to join in, you're very welcome to use either alcohol or water or I believe milk was suggested last time, but I definitely don't recommend that either. Don't know which is worse between that and uh, alcohol. So this is a fan fiction that um, was, I mean, the more that I read about it, the more it's just like, it is obviously a troll. It like, there's no way that this could have been written genuinely. Like the, the spelling errors and things like mm -hmm. that are too deliberately chosen for maximum humor. So um, I don't understand how anyone could think that it's genuine. But anyway, this is a drinking game about a fan fiction which was written to be deliberately bad. So, um, and this is color coded the text. The rule of the game is that uh, we take a shot. Well, you can choose which one of these colors you're going to drink for. So that way you don't die immediately. Um, but you take a shot each time there's an author's note with every bad pun, or if or two shots if it's followed by get it. So you can choose to do that. You can choose to take a shot each time the narrative stops to describe the clothing or makeup. Two if it's a boy's makeup. And take a sh I don't know why they distinguish between boys and girls, but anyway, take a shot whenever fishnets are mentioned. Uh, you can choose to take a shot every time a band is mentioned, and two if they're going to attend a concert. You can take a shot every time Preps or Hilary Duff, alternately, um, are insulted or are flaming again. Take a shot each time Ebony gives somebody the middle finger. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, take a shot for every use of fuck 666 or depressed slash depressing, etc. Take a shot whenever someone slits their wrists or cries tears of blood, which reminds me I need to do a, a content warning for this fic because it is very unpleasant and it has frequent references to self-harm among other things. So um, please, if anyone comes in at any point while we're reading and is kind of new, if anyone's able to like mention me, re-mention that content warning for me, that would help a lot. So that way we're, you know, making sure everyone stays safe. Um, you can take a shot for every overly long dramatic pause, as in it was dot 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 x which happens more than once a chapter, pretty much. And finally, you can take a shot every time Ebony has sex. Take a shot every time she comments on how hot someone looks, too, if it's a band member. Take a shot whenever she refers to genitalia. Mm -hmm. Rebane Crowford says, you can probably do a drinking game if you want to. You'll mainly run into problems if you do stuff like donate $10 and I'll drink, I drink a shot or something. I mean, there are also rules about drinking, like excessive drinking. And I feel like a drinking game counts as excessive drinking because, you know, like, especially this game, <laughs> it's impossible to, to not. Um, to, to bring you up to scratch, if you weren't here last time, we did this two days ago. Uh, Ebony, uh, would you like to recap us? 
Oh, this is difficult to recap because it just goes all over the place. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> but basically, Ebony is dating Draco Malfoy. They are both vampires. <laughs> mm -hmm. There's a character called Vampire Potter, who is obviously Harry Potter, and he is also a vampire. Mm -hmm. And Harry, uh, Vampire Potter and Ebony also have had some kind of relationship. During... As have <laughs> Vampire and Draco. <laughs> That's right, yes. Oh yeah, I forgot about that twist there. They have gone to many concerts in the last 20 chapters we've read. They've gone to see Good Charlotte and many others that I don't remember. Um, Voldemort has made an appearance a few times, mm -hmm. but has made no real impact so far. No, I mean, allegedly he kidnapped Draco after Draco killed himself. Mm -hmm. But now Draco is alive again. Yes, we're not sure what happened. Um, did they rescue Draco? I think they did. Oh, uh, Ravane Crawford, thank you for reminding me. My Chemical Romance is also mentioned many times. Yes. Yep. Oh, I just realized that I hadn't moved to the, um, whoops, to the whole, to, to this thing. So as I was reading through the drinking game, no one actually got to see anything. <laughs> oh! Sorry, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the drinking game. God damn. Yeah. So yellow author's note, green clothes, light blue, cyan? Band names, pink, preps, red, swears, and sadness. Um, dramatic pauses are grey, and sex is uh, aqua. Okay, so where were we? Um, you have some questions from Tigrix. Oh yeah, is there a plot or just a sequence of events? I think it's more a sequence of events than anything else. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. It's, it feels like a stream of consciousness. Yeah. Yeah. Very much so. <laughs> um, what else? Um, Lupin and Snape are in love with Ebony, and so is Hagrid. Yes, Hagrid. So everyone is in love with um, with Ebony. And Snake Tail. Snake Tail as mm -hmm. well, yes. Although uh, Snape and uh, Lumpkin have uh, gone to St. Mango's. Lumpkin? <laughs> I think it's Lupin. <laughs> it was Lu- it like, she goes back and forth between Lupin and Lumpkin. Right. <laughs> I like Lumpkin better. <laughs> but anyway, they've gone to St. Mango's, um, because it turns out, because they're into Ebony, uh, they're pedophiles, which makes sense. Um, and they, uh, recorded her bathing, as one does. And most recently they were having sex together and Dobby was watching <laughs> and like I did like a control F and tried to find any other mentions of Dobby that's the only <laughs> time he appears <laughs> it's, it's just the perv that's all he is yeah, he's, not even, he's not even introduced properly it's just like they were doing it and Dobby, Dobby was, was watching, watching. <laughs> <laughs> oh poor Dobby oh. There are also oh. accusations in the author's notes, uh, apparently, of um, of the author making Ebony a Mary Sue character, which she vehemently denies, um, even though every single male character is in love with her and um, she doesn't have any discernible flaws. But anyway. There's also been some weird drama in the author's notes. Like there's something going on between the author and somebody called Raven. Mm. Like they fell out and now they're back with their friends again. Yeah. <laughs> We're not quite sure what's happening there. That's right, yeah. Um her friend Raven, who she always thanks in the in the author's notes, um basically they had a falling out and so for one chapter her character in the, the fiction, Willow, uh was killed. <laughs> But now um, has come back. Has not announced how she came back, but is just suddenly in the story again. That's right. Yes. And today we are reading from chapter... Chapter 21. Chapter 21. I believe. Okay. Okay, so who wants to go first? Why don't you take the reins? Okay, authors... Okay, so I hope you all have your drinks ready. <laughs> all your, your, your bevies. Okay, authors note... Fuck you, okay? Off to a good start. You fucking suck. Hey there, 
there, Kiria. How's it going? Uh, we're reading through My Immortal uh, as I'm preparing to do a My Immortal visual novel and introducing my friend Shuklia to My Immortal uh, in the hopes that maybe she'd be able to provide some artwork for it. But, you know, you need to immerse yourself, I feel like, in this universe to really understand. Well, this helps. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> it's not my fault if it's spelled wrong, okay? Cause that be Raven. Cause it fuck you, preps. One. Whoops, says Raven, thanks for the help. What? <laughs> that, was a, that was a mood swing. <laughs> um, by the way, Transylvana Hawksrod, I even got to go to the castle where Cola was fleamed. 666. <laughs> <laughs> Later, we all went in the skull. Draco was crying in the common room. Draco, are you okay? I asked in a gothic voice. No, I'm... Oh, sorry. Right <laughs> so. No, I'm not, you fucking bitch! He shouted angrily. He stated to run out of the place in a suicidal way. I st oh, I started to cry because I was afraid he would commit suicide. Again, content warning for self-harm and suicide. Often mentioned, occasionally enacted, but always unpleasant. It's okay, Enemy, said Vampire comfortably. <laughs> It'll make him feel better. You mean you'll go fuck him, won't you? I shouted angrily. Then I ran to get Draco. Vampire came too. Draco, please come, he began to cry. Tears of blood came down his pale face. I was so turned on because I love sensitive bi guys. If you're a homoph homophone, then <laughs> fuck off. A homophone? <laughs> That's too good. And then, dot dot dot, we heard some footsteps. Vampire got out his black invincibility coke. <laughs> we both got under it. We saw the janitor, Mr. Norris, there, shouting angrily with a flashlight in his hand. Oh, I realized I'm off camera. Sorry. I'm going to get a little bit closer. Um, also, I just want to point out, I love how <laughs> Mr. Filch is now Norris and the cat is Filch now. Yeah. <laughs> so that's pretty great. Mr. Norris. <laughs> <laughs> Who's there? He shouted angrily. We saw Filch come. He went under the invisibility cloak and started to meow loudly. Is anyone there? yelled Mr. Norris. No, fuck you, you preppy little poser son of a fucking bee! Vampire said under his breast <laughs> in a disgusted way. Excuse me, excuse me, who said that? yelled Mr. Norris. Then he heard Filch meow. Filthy, is there anyone under the cloak? he asked. Filth nodded. <laughs> and then, dot dot dot, vampire. French to me. He, Out of nowhere. <laughs> he did it just as. Da, 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 da. Mr. Norris was taking off the cloak! One. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the? He yelled, but it was too late, because now we were ruining away from him. And then we saw Draco crying and busting into tears and slitting his wrists outside of the school. As one does. Draco! I cried. Are you okay? I guess thou, Draco <laughs> weeped. <laughs> we went back to our coffins, Frenching each other. Draco and I decided to watch Lake Placid. See, isn't that the present? On the gothic big red bed together. As I was about to put in the video, my eyes rolled up and suddenly I had a vision of something that was happening now. There was a knock on the door and Bug and the mystery of magic walked into the school. One. <laughs> Chapter, Chapter 22. 22. <laughs> Author's note. STFU. Prebs, stop flaming, okay? If you'd not like it, fuck off. I know it's Mr. Norris. It's Raven's fault, okay? One, one. You suck, one. <laughs> no, just kidding, Raven. You fucky and rock preps suck, one. Fucky. <laughs> 666. Oh, I know it's Mr. Norris. Then... But you just... Uh, anyway. All day, everyone talked about the misery of magic. Well, anyway, I woke up the next day. Oh, good on you. I was in my coffin, so I opened the door. I was wearing black lacy leather pajamas. I, I love how... Hello. I love the segue. Well, anyway, it does yeah. come up so much. Right? <laughs> then I gasped. Standing in front of me, where... Dot, dot, dot. Be Bloody Mary, the vampire... Diabolo, Draco, Dracula, and Willow. Oh, goodness. Oh, thank you for following my Karoon Granola. 
Welcome, welcome, welcome. I opened my crimson eyes. Willow was wearing a tight black leather top with pictures of bloody roses all over it. Under that, she wore a black poofy skirt with lace on it and black gothic boots that was attached to the top. Vampire was wearing a baggy simple plant t-shirt and baggy black pants and bands. Draco was wearing a black MCR t-shirt and black jeans and a leather jacket. He looked like Ger- he he looked like he Gerard Way, and almost as fucking sexy. Vampire looked like Joel Matt. Jesus Christ. The Bloody Mary was wearing a tight black poofy gothic dress that she had ripped so it showed of all her cleavage <laughs> with a white apron and said bit. And I was wondering how to pronounce that. Bish. Uh, bish. bish. <laughs> I, I like bish. And other swear words and MCR lyrics on it, kind of like one dress I had seen Amy Lee wear once. Darkness, who is Jenny, <laughs> was there too. Oh, okay. Jenny Weasley. She was weaving a ripped gothic black dress with ripped stuff all over it and a lace-up top thing and black pointer boots. So were Crab and Goyle. It turns out that Darkness, Diabolo, Crab and Goyle's dad was a vampire. So they're related now. Everyone's vampire. Diabolo is Ron, by the way. Yes. He committed suicide by slitting his wrist with a razor. He had raped them. Oh, and stuff before too. They all got so depressed that they became gothic and converted to sta- Stanism. It would, be, would have been funny if they said Stalinism there. <laughs> <laughs> OMFG, I yielded as I jumped up. Why the fuck are you all here? Enneby, something is really fucked up, Draco said. Okay, but I need to put my fucking clothes on first, I shouted angrily. He's so angry. <laughs> it's alright, we have to go now, and you look kawaii anyway. You're so fucking beautiful, Draco said in a sexy voice. Oh, alright, I said smiling, but you have to tell me why you're being all erective. <laughs> I will, I will. What is that supposed to say? <laughs> Secretive? Secretive? Maybe. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Erective. Erective. So I just put on some black eyeliner, black lipstick, and red eyeshadow and white foundation. Then I came. We all <laughs> we all went outside the, the great hell and looked in from a win- widow. <laughs> a fucking prep called Brittany from Gryffindor was standing next to us. She was wearing a pink mini and a Hillary Duff t-shirt, so we put up our middle fingers at her, as one does. Why not? Inside the great hall, we could see Dumbledore. <laughs> Cornelia Fudge was there shouting at Dumbledore. Doris Rambridge was there too. This cannot be, she shouted angrily. The school must be closed. The Bark Lord is planning to kill the students, yelled Cornelia Fudge. You are not fit to be the principal any longer, yelled Rambridge. You are too old and your Alzheimer's is dangerous. <laughs> You must retry, or Voldemort will kill your students. I like that sentence. You are too old and your Alzheimer's is dangerous. <laughs> I want a t-shirt that says that. <laughs> Very well, Dumbledore said angrily. But we cannot do this. But. We can't close the school. <laughs> there is only one person who is capable of killing Voldemort and she is in the school. And her name is... Dot, dot, dot. Enemy Darkness Dementia Raven Way. <sighs> Draco, Crab, Goyle, Darkness, Willow, Vampire, and Bloody Mary looked at each other. Dot, 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 dot. I gasped. Hmm. Well. So not Harry. Not Harry. Not Vampire Potter. There's a new chosen one in town. <laughs> it seems that way. <laughs> Chapter 23. Author's note. Dut the fuck up bitches. Oh, you're just jealous because I got 10,000 revoirs. One. Thanks to Raven for the help in telling me about the book's rock. Let's go shopping together. 666. The door opened and Professor Rambridge and Cornelia Fudge stomped out angrily. Then Dumbledore and Rambridge saw us. <laughs> Dumbledore Dumble and Dumbledore. Dumble. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Way, what the beep are you doing? Rambridge shouted angrily. Dumbledore bled at her. <laughs> bled at her. <laughs> this gets better and better. <laughs> Oops, she made a mistake. He corrupted her. She means hi. Everybody come in. 
Well, we all came in angrily. So did all the other students. I sat between Darkness and Draco and opposite Be Bloody Mary. Crab and Goyle started to make some morbid jokes. They both looked exactly like Vili Volo. I think that's... Is that supposed to be um, uh, the guy from him? The band? The Finnish band? Oh, maybe. Yeah, yeah, I think, I think so. Possibly. Finnish metal. Yes. <clears throat> I ate some Count Chocula and drank some blood from a cup. Why is she so obsessed with Count Chocula? Because she's got it. That's like the second time she's had that cereal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good night, Darwin Lur. Everyone enjoy the copious tears of blood and questionable spelling. <laughs> Sleep well. Then I heard someone shooting angrily. I looked behind me. It was... Dot, 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 dot. Vampire! He and Draco were shooting at each other. Vampire, Draco, WTF? I asked. You're fucking bu- busted! <laughs> Yelled Draco at Vampire. <laughs> I I wanted to shit next next <laughs> No I do shouted <laughs> No she doesn't fucking like you you son of a bitch yelled Draco No fuck you motherfucker she laves me not you shouted vampire and oh Oh yes dot 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 is part of the drinking game Yes <laughs> Um sorry no fuck you motherfucker is that where I'm um, I finished with shouted, okay. shouted vampire. Thank you. And then, dot, 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 he jumped on Draco. No, not in that way, you perv. They started to fight and beat up each other. Dumbledore yelled at them, but they didn't stop. All of a sudden, dot, 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 a terrible man with red eyes and no nose flew in on his broomstick. I wonder who this is. Yeah. <laughs> he had no nose. Oh, really? Oh. <laughs> New information? It's, it's always mentioned at least twice. <laughs> He, he had no nose and was wearing a grey robe. It's a really identifying feature, it's his lack of a nose. All the glass in the window he flew through fell apart. Brittany, that fucking prep started to cry. Oh, Brittany. Oh, Brittany. <laughs> Vampire and Draco stopped fighting. I shopped eating. Everyone gasped. So, so until all that happened... She was still eating. <laughs> Everyone gasped. The room, the room fell silent. Dot 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 dot. Voldemort. <laughs> Ebaby, Ebaby, <laughs> Ebaby. Darth Vader said evilly. Darth Vader. <laughs> Where did Darth Vader come from? Anyway, he said evilly in his raspy voice. I have failed your mission. Now I shall kill thou. And I shall kill Vampire as well. Very this is nice. very painful. <laughs> if thou does not kill him before, then I shall kill Draco too. Please, don't make me kill him, please, I begged. No, he, <laughs> he laughed crudely. Kill him, or I shall kill him anyway. Then he flew away cackling. I bust into tears. <laughs> Draco and Vampire came to con- con- contort, contort me. me. <laughs> contort me. There, there. <laughs> My eyes rolled up so they looked all cool and gothic. It's okay. I had a vision where I saw some lightning, light, lighting flash and then Voldemort coming to kill Draco while Draco slit his wrists in a depressed way. Again. Mm. No! I screamed sexily. Suddenly I locked up and stopped having the vision. Did you like my sexy voice? <laughs> <laughs> Ebony, Ebony, are you all right? Asked Draco in a worried voice. Yeah, yeah, I said sadly as I got up. If everything's all right in a beat, said Vampire, all sensitive. No, it's not, I shouted angrily. Tears of blood went down my face. Oh, NFG, what if I'm getting possessed like in The Ring 2? Not The Ring 1, no, The Ring 2, the sequel. Two. Uh, oh, it's okay, gal, said Bloody Mary, who is Hermione, if you didn't tune in yesterday, I mean last time. Maybe you should ask Professor Sinister about what the visions mean, though. Okay, B, I said sadly, and then we went. Who's Professor Sinister? Snape? Where can I find out? Okay. I, I mean, I did a little bit of research. Apparently, it's a mix between Professor Sinistra, Sinistra and Professor Trelawney. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. I can't remember Fre- Professor Sinister. I think astrology teacher. But it's basically Professor Trelawney. Oh, all right. But with Professor Sinistra's name. Cool. Oh, uh, Ron <clears throat> is part of the story. Ron is... What's his name? Diabolo. Di- Diabolo. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Chapter 24. Author's note. 
crypt, stop flaming the story. You're just jealous, so fuck you, okay? Go to hell. One, one, raven, fang, fang, mm, fangs for the help. 666. Six, six. Well, we had deviation next, so deviation. <laughs> so I got to ask Professor Trevolry about the visions. <laughs> Konnichiwa, everybody come in, said Professor Sinister in Japanese. She smelled at me with her <laughs> gothic black lipstick. She's the coolest fucking teacher ever. She had long dead black hair with blood red tips and red eyes as opposed to alive black hair. Her mom was a vampire. She's also half Japanese, so she speaks it in everything. She and Bloody Marie get, get along great. She's really young for a teacher. Today, she was wearing a black leather top with red lace and a long gothic black ribs dress. We went inside the black classroom with posters with posters of Emily the Strong. Emily I... the Strange. I oh, yeah. Her in ages. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Emily the Strong. <laughs> I raced my hand. I was wearing some black nay, nay, polish. <laughs> Nay, Polish, with red pentagrams on it. <laughs> Polish. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, Ebony? She asked. Hey, I love your nail polish. Where'd you get it? Hot Topic? Yeah, I answered. All the preps who didn't know what HT was gave me weird looks. I gave them the middle finger. Of course. Well, I have to talk to you about some things. <clears throat> when do you want to, to do it? How about now? She asked. Okay, I said. Okay, class, fucking dismiss everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Trevori said, and she let everyone go. Except for you, Brittany. <laughs> Brittany. Wow. Poor Brittany. <laughs> Poor Brittany. She pointed at Brittany and some other preps. Please do ex exercise. Get it? <laughs> One on page three. <laughs> okay, I'm having lots of visions, I said in a worried voice. I'm so worried Draco is going to die. <laughs> Well, she gave me a black cryptal ball to lock in. I looked at it. What do you see? She asked. I said I see a black gothic skull and a pentagram. Suddenly there was a knock at the door. I looked at it. It was Draker. He was looking really sexy wearing a black leather facet, a black gothic Lincoln Park t-shirt and black Congress shoes. Okay, you can go now. See you, cunt, said Professor Sinister. Bye, bitch, I said waving. <laughs> See, I, <can't. laughs> I went to Draco and Vampire were sitting next to him. We both followed Draco together and I was so exhibited. Mm. Okay. Chapter 25. Author. St author's note. Stop flaming, okay? If you do not, then he'll tell Justin to bet you up. 1111. And he'll tell Alden Reds to put virtues in your computer. 1111. Fuck you, one raven. Thanks for the help, one six six six. Hmm. I was so excited. I fellered Draker, wondering if we were going to do it again. We went outside, and then we went into in oh to do it again. I get it. It's a euphemism. We <laughs> went outside, and then we went into Draker's black car. Ebony, what? Ebony, what the fuck did Professor Trevory say? <laughs> whispered Draco, putting potting his gothic wit hand with vlak nail polish on mine. She said she would tell me what the visions meant tomorrow to to Ramon. I grumbled in a sexy voice. He took out a heroin ca cabaret and spiked it and gave it to me to spork. I don't understand the <laughs> I don't sentence. understand the sentence at all. <laughs> he started to fly the car into a tree. <laughs> we went to the top of it. Draco put on some MCR. And, and all the things that you never told, that never ever told me, and all the smiles that are ever gonna haunt me. That had, that had decent spelling, mm. sang Gerard's sexy voice. We started tiling of each, each other's clothes fervently. He took off my black <coughs> thong and my black leather bar. I took off his black foxes. Then, dot dot dot, he put his trobbing you know what in my tool. Sexily. Oh, okay. <laughs> OMFG! Draco, Draco! I screamed, having an orgism. <laughs> we stated Frenching passively. Again! <laughs> <laughs> I love the passive Frenching. <laughs> Suddenly, dot dot dot, I fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> I started having a dream. Is it a black guy? I <laughs> was shooting two gothic men with long black hair. No, please don't fucking kill us! One! They pleaded, but he just kept shooting them. He ran away in a red car. I 
wondering who this is supposed to be. <laughs> I wonder if it's meant to be a black robed person. Oh, maybe. Otherwise it makes no sense. <laughs> hmm. <clears throat> no. Oh my fucking god, 1-1. One, one. I shouted in a s- scared voice. Ebony, Ebony, what's wrong? Draco asked me as I woke up, opening my icy blue eyes. I started to cry, and tears of blood went down my face. I told Draco to call Vampire. He did it with his black Lincoln Park mobile. <laughs> oh, okay. I was thinking Lincoln Park mobile. Uh, <laughs> I, oh, I think you're right. I think, no, I think you're right, because this is written by an American, right? Yeah, but he's calling Vampire. Oh. Mm, curious and curious. Mm. But the worst thing was who the people were who were shot in the dream were dot 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 Lucian and Sirius 111. I wonder if maybe that gives a clue into mm. the identity of this author. Perhaps. Mm. Chapter 26. Author's note. Perhaps stop flaming history, okay, one? If you'd not like to lick the story, then go fuck yourself, you fucking prep. You suck, 111. Oh, why and I wasn't being racist, okay, 11. Huh. I'm glad she addressed that. Okay, 666. Six, six. A few mutatas. Oh no, a few mutates. <laughs> mutatas. 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 <laughs> a few. Does that mean something? No. Okay. <laughs> Just sounds like it does. A few mutates later, Vampire came to that tree. He was wearing a black leather jackson, black leather pants, and a good Charlotte t shirt. <laughs> Hi, vampire, I said politely as I started to sob. <laughs> Draco hugged me sexily, trying to comfort me. About what? What happened? I forget. <laughs> yeah, I thought we were forgot too. <clears throat> oh, so Luc- Lucian and uh, Sirius were, ki- were killed by a black man. In a dream. In a dream that she had. Okay, so he's comforting her because of a nightmare. Nightmare, okay. Uh, I started to cry tears of blood and then told them what happened. Oh, fuck it! Vampire <laughs> shouted angrily. He for started to cry sadly. What fucking dick did that? I don't know, I said. Now come on, we have to tell Dumbledore. We ran out of the tree and into the castle. Dumbledore was sitting in his office. Fire! Some <laughs> our dads have been shot! Draco said while we whipped some tears from his white face. Annabee had a vision in a dream. Dubloder started to cockle. (laughs) 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 And how do you expect me to know Ebony's not divisional? I scared at, I glared at Dumbledore. <laughs> Look, motherfucker, he said angrily as Dumbledore gasped. See, is the toot of crafter. <laughs> what does that mean? T- <laughs> see, see, is the toot of crafter. <laughs> I have no idea. I don't know how I'm going to, like, that, how I'm going to put that in the visual novel. I was, I was just thinking this too. Oh, there's no maybe. 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 <laughs> mm. <laughs> you know very well. Oh, wait. You know very well. Wait, he said. <laughs> then I'm not decisional. Now get some fucking people out there to look for Ceres and Lucian. Ponter! <laughs> Ponter! <laughs> okay, he said in an intimated voice. Where are they? I thought about it. <laughs> then all of a sudden, London, I said. I told him which street. He went and called some people that did some stuff. Okay. <laughs> After a few mistunes, he came back and said people were going out looking for them. After a while, someone called him again. He said that they had been found. Draco, Vampire and I all left to our rooms together. I went with Draco to wait in the nurse's office, while Vampire went to slit his wrists in his room. As you do. <laughs> we looked at each other's gothic derper... <laughs> derperest eyes. <laughs> <clears throat> then we kissed. Suddenly, Sirius and Lucian came in on stretches, dot dot dot, and Professor Sinister was behind them. One. Oh my god! Professor Sinister, the teacher who wasn't mentioned until two chapters ago. <laughs> Chapter 27. Vampires will never hurt you. Author's note. You know what? 111. 
I did not give a fuck what you preps think about me. One, 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 one. Oh, so stop flaming the fucking story, bitches! One, 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 one. Thanks to Raven for your love and sport. And help, I love you, girl. Soz, I couldn't update lol. I was really depressed and I silt my wrists. I had to go to the hospital, Raven, you rock girl. One, 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 one. Six, six, six. Jeez. Mm. Everyone in the room started, stated to cry happily. I had saved them. How? Because she said something. And... Oh, they were shot and they got them. <laughs> yeah, okay. Draco, Lucian, Sirius Bond, Vampire all came to hug me. The nurse started to give them medicine. Come on, enemy. <laughs> Said Professor Sinatra. <laughs> Sinatra, no. She was wearing a gothic black leader dress with a corset top and real <clears throat> vampire blood on it and fucking black platinum boots. <laughs> you just put the fucking there. I have to tell you the fucking perdition. I, I locked at Lucian. Serifs, <laughs> Serifs, Drake and Vampire. They nodded. I smelled happily. <laughs> <laughs> and went into a dark room. I had changed Professor Sinister, took out some black cards. She started to look into a black crucible ball. She said, dot dot dot, Tara, who's Tara? I see, <laughs> I see drac times are near. She said badly. <laughs> she peered into the balls. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you must go back in time. She took out a time turner like Bloody Mary had. When Voldemort was in Hogwarts before he became powerful, he got his hearth borken. Voldemort <laughs> is such a great, great sounding word. <laughs> borken. Now, do you think he would still become Voldemort if he was in love? I shook my head. You must go back in time and seduce him. Hmm. <laughs> it is the only way. If he is still evil, then you must kill him. You can come to my room tomorrow and you can do it. Okay, I said sadly. We did death touch sin i went outside again sadly what fucking happened asked draco and vampire yeah what happened asked darkness willow and boldy boldy mary <laughs> i was about to tell them but everyone was there they were celebrating lucian and sirius being fond Aww. everyone was proud of me but i just wanted to talk to draco they were cheesing my name and some reporters were there trying to interview dumbledore a banner was put up. Lots of fucking preps were there, obviously. Trying to be, be gothic, wearing the him sign on their hands, despite them not having actually heard of them. Fucking preps. Even Mr. Norris looked happy. A black and red cake had been brought out. Crab and Goik <laughs> set up some fireworks in the shape of skulls from Wesley's Wizard Wises. I put on my invisibility cloak with vampire. Wait, wait what, how? Since when is it her invisibility cloak? It's not. <laughs> I put on my invisibility cloak uh, with vampire and Draco, and we sneaked outside together. <gasps> oh. Chapter twenty-eight. Author's note: I said, "Stop gfilming the story." It was a miscat when Professor Relori said that. Okay. Go to. Fucking hell! One, 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 you suck. Thanks to Filey for the help. One. Raven, have fun with Kiwi. One, 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 six, six, six. We went into a black room. The walls were black with portraits of gothic bands like MCR, GC, and Marlon Manso Mason all over them. A big black coffin was in the middle. Red velvet lined the black box. There were three chairs made of bones with real skulls in them. I was wearing a black corset bar with purple stuff on it, fishnet suckings and a black leather thong underneath. I sat down I sat down one of the chairs dispersedly. So did Draco and Vampire. Are you okay? Vampire, vampire asked, potting his albastard hand on mine. He was wearing black nail polish. I was wearing black nail polish with red crosses on it. That's your turn, sorry. Oh, yeah, I guess, I said sadly. Draco also put his hand on mine sexily. 
I smiled sadly with my black lipstick. The problem is... Dot, 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 dot. I have to seduce Volsamort. I'll have to go back in time. Well, everybody has fallen in love with <coughs> Ebony so far, so I don't think it's going to be a problem. Mm. What do you think? I, I think she's probably going to be fine. Mm. Mm. Right. Draco started to cry sadly. Vampire hugged him. Oh. It's okay, Ebba B, he said finally. <laughs> but what about me? You're not going to break up or any anything, are you? Of course not, I gasped. Really? he asked. Sure, I said. We Frenched sexily. Vampire looked at us longingly. <laughs> then, dot dot dot, I took off Draco's NCR shrift and seductively took off his pants. Is With Vampire the... still there? Vampire's in the room. He was hung like a Stallone! <laughs> he had replaced the vampire tattoo that said NB on it. Black roses were around it. I gasped. He looks exactly like Gerard Way. What a surprise! Vampire took a video camera. I had said it was okay before. <clears throat> um. Seriously? What? I took I took off my clothes. Then we were in for the rid of our life. Leaf. <laughs> we started freezing as we climbed into the coffin. He put his spock in my you know what, and passively we did it. <laughs> <laughs> so vampire's filming this whole thing. Apparently. <laughs> I love you, Ebba B. Oh, let me feel you. I need to feel you, he screamed as we got an orgasm. We watched vampire filmed everything perfectly. Suddenly, dot dot dot, what the fuck are you doing? It was dot dot dot, Snoop and Professor McGoggle. <laughs> Chapter 29. Author's note. Sort the fuck up. One one, you're just jealous cause your preps so fuck you. One 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 one, Raven, you rock, girl. Thanks for the help. MCR rocks six six six. One 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 six six six. Oh my Satan! One, we screamed as we jumped out of the coffin. Snap and Professor McGoonagall started to shoot at us angrily. Come now. <laughs> One preacher, preacher McGongle. Preacher McGongle yielded. <laughs> I'm sorry, McGongle. I thought McGongle was funny. Yeah, um, we did guiltily. <laughs> we left the room, putting on our clothes. Snoop grabbed the caramel and put it in his pocket. He grabbed. He grabbed the caramel. What caramel? Car camera. Camera. Oh. Hey, what the fuck? One, one, one. Vampire shooted angrily. Yeah, buster. What the fuck are you gonna do with a fucking camera? Draco demanded, demanded all protective, <laughs> looking at me longly with his gothic red eyes. Look, Dumbledore knows your little secret. Dumbledore. <laughs> Dumbledore knows your little secret, and if you do this again, then you will go to Saint Mangoes. So give back the camera. One, 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 one. Yeah, buster. <laughs> Well, ha 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 ha, the mystery of Mojik thinks he is crazy. There is no way they will believe him. Snoop laughed meanly. Yes, so shut your mouth, you innocent fools, yelled Professor McGoggle. She made us come into a weird room <laughs> with white stones all around it. There were all these worried tools in it. Draco started to cry, all sexy and sexy. Get it? Because he's a sex bomb. Lol, Tom Felnut rules for life. But not as much as Gerard, your sex on legs. I love you, you fucking rogue. Rock, marry me. One, one, one. Marry me. <laughs> marry me. <laughs> I started to cry tears of blood. It happens in Vampire Chronicles, <coughs> Raven. Said so, okay, so fuck you. <laughs> Vampire took out a black handkerchief. <laughs> <laughs> And started to wipe my red eyes. And then, dot dot dot, he and Snoop both took out guns using magic. Okay. They started to shoot each other angrily. Why not just use your wand? <laughs> oh, none of the none of the ballots got on each other yet. I took out my wand. Crossio or crossio, I shouted. Sna Snap started to scram. He dropped the gun, but it was too late. Both of them had run out of ballots. <laughs> I stopped the curse. 
Professor McGoogle did a spell so that we were all chained up. She took out a box of tools. The, really? Then she said, Okay, Cerberus, I'm going to go now. She, she left. Snap started to laugh evilly. The vampire started to cry. It's okay, Annabe, said Draker. Evergreen will be all right. Remember the city how you took up Snake? Snape laughed again, and then dot dot dot, he took out some whips. Where is this going? <laughs> I don't know if we want to continue this. Chapter 30, author's note. Stop flaming the story, okay? You do not know what's ever gonna ha even gonna happen, okay? Oh, so for you. One, one, one. If you flam, you will be a prick. So all the flamers can kiss my ass. One one one. Soz for soz for saying Alzheimer's is dongerous, but that's the mystery's opin opinion. Cause society basically sucks. Thanks to Raven, you rock B. Six six six. No one one. We scream sadly. Let me try that again. <coughs> no one one. We scream sadly. <laughs> Snap stated loafing meanly. Started looking meanly maybe. Uh, loafing. <laughs> Laughing. <laughs> Laughing. Yeah. Yes. He took out a camera and Billy. Then, dot dot dot, he came towards Darko. He took some stones out of his pocket. He put the stones around Draco and knit a candle? <laughs> knit a candle. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? I shoot it angrily. Snoop laughed meanly. He pulled down his pants. I gasped. <laughs> Into the poles where, without pants. I gasped. There was a dork mark on his you know what. <laughs> I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> he waved his hand and a knife came. He gave the knife to me. You must stab Rumpa, he said to me. If you don't, then I'll wrap Draco. <laughs> No, you fucking bastard, I yielded. <laughs> but then, Draco looked at me sadly with his evil gothic red eyes that looked so depressant and sexy. Oh, he looked exactly like a pentagram. Lol, get it? Because I'm a Satanist between Kurt Cobain and Gerard. But then, I looked at a vampire and he looked so smexy too, with his gothic black hair. His dork mark like a tramp stamp. <laughs> it is in, in the, the Harry Potter universe, yes. <laughs> but then I looked at Vampire and he looked so smexy too with his gothic black. Oh, I read gothic that. black. Oh, oh, whoops, sorry. <laughs> I thought of the time when we screwed and the time I did it with Draco and Dumbledore came and the time where Draco almost committed suicide and Vampire was so sportive. Snipe laughed angrily. He started to pray to Volsamort. He started to do an incapacitation. Dancing around the Stokes, whipping trick with vampire. <laughs> Suddenly, an idea I had. <laughs> I closed my eyes and, using my vampire powers, I sent a telepathetic message to Draco and Vampire so they would destruct Snape. Mm. Dumble, Dumble, Dark will. Wait, Dumble, Dark will get you. Draco shooted. Yeah, just wait until the mystery find out. Vampire yelled. Meanwhile, I took out my wand. You, ri you ridiculous thunderhead, Snoop yielded. He took off all of Dricker's clothes just as he was about to rape him. Dot, 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 dot. Oh my God. <laughs> Crossio, I shouted, pointing my wound. Snoop scrimmed and started running around the room screaming. <laughs> Meanwhile, I grabbed my, my black mobile and sent a text to Sirius. I stopped doing Crucio. You dunderhead! One one one. I'm going to kill. Shooted Snape, but suddenly Severus came. Mm. Snape put the whip behind his back. Oh, hello, Sev. I was just teaching them something. He lied. But suddenly Lucian and Professor Trevori came into the room, and they and Sirius unlocked the chains and put them around Snap. Then Professor Trevori said, "Come on, Emily, let's go." Hmm. Okay. Well, that ended. <laughs> That ended. <clears throat> hmm. Yes. Chapter 31. Author's note. I said, shut the fuck up, queefs. Queefs? You queefs? <laughs> Stop 
Carl and Ebony are Mary Sue, okay? You do not even know what's going to happen, okay? So fuck you! One, 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 one. Thanks to my BFF Raven for the help. One, 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 <clears throat> six, six, six. I always knew you were on Voldemort's side, you son of a bitka! Boofy rocks, <laughs> Sirius said to Snape. Buffy rocks? Boofy. Bitka? Boofy? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Sirius said to Snape. No, I'm not. I was teaching them something. One <clears throat> snap claimed. Oh, fucking yeah! I took some black Voldemort serum out of my pocket and gave it to Severus. He made Snap drink it. He did angrily. Then Luscious took out a tape recorder and started playing it while he did curses on Snap. Then Professor Sinister and Lucian made us get out with them while Snape told his secretes. Uh, Lucian took Vampure and Draco to the nurse after thanking me a million times. Professor Trevolry took me to a dark room. Now I was going to go... <laughs> yeah, may as well just move on to the next thing. <laughs> now I was going to go back in time to seduce Vol Volsamort. Moving posters of MCR and Nirvana were all over. Hermione? Hermione? <laughs> it's hmm. not Be Bloody Mary? No. Okay. Darkness and Willow came too. The Bloody Mary gave me a black bag from Tom Ridd's store. Are they two different characters now? I, I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> What's in the bag? I asked Professor Trevori. You will see, she mm -hmm. said. I opened the bag. In it was a sexy, tight, low smut black leather gothic dress. Sexy but low smut. <laughs> it's just classy. <laughs> it had red corset stuff and there was a silt up the leg. I put it on. My friends helped me put on black... Why do you need help? Black fishnets and black pointy boots Willow had chosen. Willow and Darkness helped me put on black eyeliner and blood red lipstick. 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 Oh, you look fucking kawaii, B. Bloody Mary said. Bangs, I said. Okay, now you're going to go back in Tim, said Professor Sinister. You'll have to do it in a few sessions. She gave me a black gun. I put it in a strap on my fishnets, fishnets like in Regisnet Evil. Then she gave me a black time tuner. After an hour, use the time. Oh, sorry. <laughs> After an hour, use the time torner to go back here. Professor Chervolry said. Then she and Bloody Mary put a pensive in front of me. Everyone went in front of. Oh, sorry. I think I I completely no, no, the whole no, paragraph. No, no, no. That's good. Good luck, one. Everyone shouted. Darkness and Willow gave me death's touch sin. Then, dot, 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 I jumped sexily into the pencil. This is not canon. <laughs> How does one that. jump sexily into a pencil? <laughs> Suddenly I was in front of Tescul. In front of me was one of the sexiest goth guys I had ever seen. He was wearing long black hair, kind of like Mikey Way, only black. He had grand eyes like Billy Joe Arms Armstrong and pale wit skin. He was wearing a black ripped up suit with bands. It was dot 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 Tom Bombadil. One 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 one. <laughs> That's a character in Lord of the Rings. Is it? <laughs> yeah, it's like a it's like a, a bard. Like he just <laughs> jumps around Tessie. That's Voldemort? <laughs> that's, that's, that's yeah. It's apparently Tom just synonymous, the two. It's like that scene in the two towers where Theoden gets his armor put on just with fishnets. <laughs> Tom Bombadil. All right, all right. We got we got uh, some Lord of the Rings representation in the house. Chapter thirty-two. Oh, there's no. I said stop flamming. I know his name isn't Tom Bodil. That was a mistake. If you do not like this story, then you can go screw yourself. One 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 one. You suck. One 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 one. Six six six. Hi, I said flirtily. I'm Enby Wade, the new student. I shock my pale hands with their black nail polish with him. The name's Tom, he said, but you can call me Satan. <laughs> That's my middle name. We shook hands. Well, come on, we have to go upstairs, Satan said. I followed him. Why? Why do we have to go upstairs? <laughs> It'll be revealed soon. Oh. <laughs> hey, Satan, do you happen to be a fan of Grande? Since MCR and Evanescence don't exist yet, then, I asked. <laughs> oh, my fucking God. How did you know? Satan gasped. Actually, I like GC a lot, too. Get it? Because GC did that song, I Just Wanna Live, that sounded really 80s. OMG, me too, I replied happily. 
Guess what? They have a concert in Hogsmint, Satan whispered. Hogsmint? I asked. Yeah, that's what they used to call it in these times before it became Hogsmeade in 2000. <laughs> he told me yours secretively. And there's a really cool shop called Hot Topic! I finished, happy again. <laughs> he frowned confusedly. No, it's called Hot Issue! He smiled scrutably <laughs> again. Then in 1998, they changed it to Hot Topic, he moaned. Oh, now everything was making sense for me. <laughs> Wait, what? So how does he know that they changed it in... It doesn't <laughs> Unless Voldemort's also a time traveller. Yeah, because, like, he knows all this stuff. <laughs> oh, everything, amazing. but still, everything was making sense for me. <laughs> so, is Dumbledore your prince, Pill? I shouted. Uh-uh, he looked at his black nails. I'm in Slytherin. OMFG, sh- me too, I shrieked. I shrieked. <laughs> <laughs> you go to this skull? Get it, because I'm gothic, he asked. Yeah, that's why I'm here. I'm new. I smelled happy. Suddenly, Dumbledore, sorry, I lost my place, yeah. flew in on his broomstuck, broomstuck and started shredding at us angrily. <laughs> no talking in the halls! He had short blonde hair and was wearing a polo shirt from American Ogul Afters. Stupid goths! <laughs> Satan rolled his eyes. He's so mean <clears throat> to us goths and punks just because we're in Slytherin and we're not preps. I turned around angrily. Actually, I think maybe it's because you're the Bark Lord. WTF? Wait, he asked angrily. Oh, nothing, I said sweetly. Then suddenly, dot dot dot, the floor opened. OMFG, no, I schemed as I feel down. Everyone looked at me weirdly. Hey, where are you going? Satan asked as I fell. I got out of the hall and it was back <laughs> oh, in, the pensive, in Professor Trevori's classroom. Dumbledum was there. Dumbledore, I think I just met you, I said. Oh yeah, I remember that, Dumbledore said, trying to be all gothic. <laughs> Sinister came in. Hey, this is my classroom. Wait, WTF, Enemy, what the hell are you doing? Oh, um, I looked at her. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. WTH, how? I screamed, forgetting she was a teacher for a second. But she's a goth, so it's okay. <laughs> Professor Sinster looks, looked sad. Um, I was drinking Voldemort serum. She began to cry black tears of depression. Mm. They cry black tears too, not just mm. red, bloody tears. Mm-hmm. Dumbly Dum didn't know about them. Hey, are you crying tears of blood? <laughs> he asked curiously, touching a tear. Fuck off, we first said, and Dumbly Dum took his hand away. Professor Sinister started crying again in her chair, sobbing limpid tears. OMFG, MFG, I I think I'm addicted to Voldemort serum. Author's note. See your fucking preps, go fuck yourselves. Can't serious issues go to hell. <laughs> okay, so we've, we've got some addiction that we're dealing with we here. We do, mm-hmm. yes. All the issues are covered. Chapter 33. Author's note. I said, shut up, it's not my fault, okay? If you don't like the story, then you're a prep, so fuck you, flamers. P.S. I'm not up updating until you give me fifth god reviews, and this time I meant it. One more one. You suck, one more one. Thanks, Raven, for the help. It'll promise to help you with your story, little one. 666. Six, six. Oh, black tears just means it, it ruined your makeup. Oh. It's far less unhealthy than blood being rerouted to the tear ducts. Yes, very, very, very good point. <clears throat> Wait, where are we up to? I just said the 666. Oh, okay. Oh my fucking god, I shoot it sadly. Should we get you to St. Mungus, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> Hell no, she said. Listen, Egoji, I need your help. Next time you go back in time, do you think you could ask Tom Anderson for some help? Sure, I said What's with all the Toms? It's Tom Ridd, Tom, Tom, Tom Anderson, Anderson, Tom Bombadil. Is Tom Anderson someone that I should know about? No? No idea. Okay. Sure, I said sadly. I went outside the door. Trinka was there! He was wearing a big black GC t-shirt, which was... T-shirt. <laughs> GC t-shirt, which was his pajamas. <laughs> Hey, sexy, I said. 
How'd it go? Uh, how'd it go, Annabelle? He asked and his voice was so sexy and kind of low, like Gerard Way when he's talking. Fine, I responded. We stayed to go back into the dorm. How far did you go with Satan? Draco asked jealously. Not too far, low, I borked. <laughs> Will you have to do it with him? Draco asked angrily. I hope not too far, 111. I shouted angrily. Then I felt bad for shooting at him. I said sorry. We Frenched. What happened to Snipe? What? Sorry, I'll try that again. <laughs> what happened to... S mm, I can't growl. Well, what happened to Snipe? I, I growl. <laughs> I know I did. No, I can't either. <laughs> <laughs> You'll see. Draco giggled mistressly. <laughs> he opened the door. Dot, dot, dot. Snap and Lumpkin were is there. One, one. Sirius was pokering them by staging them with a black knife. No, one 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 lumpkin bag. The serious started to suit his blood. I laughed statistically. <laughs> That's a good one. I took some photons of him and snapped being torped. Okay, I know this is men, but think about it, people. They are pedos, and Snap tried to rape, rap them, and Niway said it. Rock has anyone seen Shrek attack? Three lols. We took some of Snipe's blood, then Draco and I went back to our rooms. We sat on my gothic black coffin. My clothes were kinda dritty, so I put on a black leather outfit thingy, kinda like the the one Swellen has in Underworld. If you haven't heard of it, then fuck you! <laughs> I put on some black platform high heels. Darko put on Desolation Livers by MCR. Then, dot dot dot, we started to take off each other's clothes. I took off his shit <laughs> and he had a six pack lol. We started to mac out like in the grudge. In the grudge? I don't remember Whoa, that scene. Okay. He put his wet wetness in my you know what sexily. I got an orgy. Oh Draco one 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 one. Oh me. Fucking God, Draco, one, 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 one. I screamed passively <laughs> as he got an irritation. I love you, Tyabory. I mean, I love you, Tyabory, whispered sexily, and then we fell asleep. Lol. <laughs> <clears throat> Chapter 34. Author's note. Shut the fuck up, preps. One, 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 one. Have you even read the story? I'll just read this whole intro. Okay. You are probably I'll just preps and poses, so fuck you. One one one. Thanks to Raven for the help. One six six six. <laughs> oh. Hello Anokisto! You feel like you've missed important plot plot points? Um well yeah, there are not really any any plot points to speak of here, so you're probably good. Um yeah, it, basically, this is a Harry Potter fan fiction that that was like a troll fanfic that was written by someone back in two thousand and six, Hello. which kind of takes little little jokes at a poorly written fan fiction. It's very very funny. Okay, so oh, thank you for following Spiny King. <clears throat> yeah, I'm pretty sure you were following before actually, so I don't know what was happening there. I woke up in the coffin the next day. Joker was gone. I got up and put on a black tight sex address that was all ripped at the end. There was red corset stuff going up the front and the back and it came up to my knees. There was a slit in the dress like in Mr. and Mr. Smith. Simph. <laughs> Simph. I put on ripped black fishnets and black stilton boots. 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 Suddenly, dot dot dot. Sorius cocked on the door. I opened it. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Ebony, he said. Guess what? You have to come to Professor Sinistor's office. Okay, I said in a depressed voice. I had wanted to fuck Draco or maybe listen to MCL Evanescence. I came anyway. So what the fuck happened to Snipe and Lupin? I asked Sorius flirtily. Oh, whoops. Oh, what the fuck? Fuck happened to Snape and Loop and I asked sorry flirtily. <laughs> I fucking tortured them, he answered in a sadistic way. They are in Abkhazian now, lol. I laughed, I, I, I laughed <laughs> evilly. Where are, where are Draco and Vampira, I muttered. 
they are excused from from school today. Sodomize moon sex. <laughs> right. Oh, whoops. Right now they are watching the nightmare before Xmas. We went into the office. Professor Sinister was there. She was wearing a gothic black dress that was all ripped all over it. Kinda like the one Amy Lee wears in this pic. HTTP. <laughs> she was drinking some Voxy malt serum. She took out the pensive and the time and the time torner. NRB, you will have to do a nova session now. Also, I need you to get me the cure for being adequated, she said sadly. Good luck. Thanks. And then dot dot dot. I jumped into the princess again. Oh yes. Suddenly I looked around. Dot dot dot. I was in the great hall eating Count Chocula. Chocula. It was morning. <laughs> I was sitting next to Satan. On a table was a tall gothic man <laughs> with long black hair, pale skin and blue eyes, wearing a suit and black converse shoes. He looked just like Charlin Manson. I noticed he was drinking a portent. Who's he? One one I asked. Oh, that's Professor Slutborn, Satan said. He's the portents teacher. Dot dot dot. Ebony? Yeah, I asked. Did you know that Marilyn Ma Mason is playing in Hogsmeade tonight? And they are showing the exercise at the movies before that. Yeah? I'll, I'll finish this. Okay. Well, want to go to the contort and the movie with me? Dun, dun, dun. Wow, everyone likes her. I guess that's why she was chosen for this job. It's so popular. Mm -hmm. Chapter 35, Ghost of You. How about I read this? Sure. Author's note. Thanks to Susie for the idea. One, you rock. Fuck off, preps. Thanks to Raven for the help, you rock girl. P.S. I'm going to end the story really soon, so fuck you! Oh yeah, and if you know any gothic names, please tell me because I need one for serious. Thanks. 666. Six, six. I went into the conman room, thinking of Satan. Suddenly I gasped. Dot dot dot. Draco was there. I grasped. He looked as hot as ever, wearing black leather pants, a black long brack t-shirt and black eyeliner. Draco, what the fuck are you doing? I gasped. I inhaled my drink. <laughs> <coughs> oh my god. What the fuck are you doing? Huh? huh? He asked. Then I remembered it wasn't Draco, it was Lucan. He still had two arms? Two arms? Does he only have one arm? I and... don't remember any of that. <laughs> no. Oh, maybe his arm got shot off in the big fight that uh, happened up there. Maybe. I, I don't recall him losing an arm. Well, he still has two arms okay, here, so okay. I guess that's... That, that's what's important. Yes, <laughs> yes. Oh, hi, Lucian, I said. I'm Ebony, the new student, lol. We shook hands. Oh, yeah. Yeah, a station told me about you, Lucian said. <laughs> he pointed to a group of sexy gothic guys. They they were sighting in a corner cutting. Ugh. Mm. It was oh whoops. It was serious vampire's dad and dot 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 snap. <laughs> snap. <laughs> All of them were wearing black eyeliner and black good shrewd band shirts. <laughs> Listen, I'm in a goth band with those guys. He said. We're playing tonight at the Marilyn Mason show as backup. The Marilyn Mason show. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that in the visual novel you draw Tom Bombadil as Tom Bombadil before he calls himself Satan. I was thinking of trying to get a combination of both. Like a mix of Satan and I'll show you Tom Bombadil. Um, Tom Bombadil. Basically, that that's oh, uh, you were spot on with that um, imitation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like there's this thing in the Lord of the Rings book where he tells uh, Frodo and Sam to run naked through the grass, and they do, and it's it's a gay old time. Oh, okay. Yes, it's, it's, it's very very hippie ish. <laughs> um, anyway, Orly, I asked. Yeah, he said. 
I mean, he said, or I call, wait, yes, Lucian. Yeah. Or I call the Black Axe because I play to gutter. Spartacus plays to drums, he oh. said, <laughs> pointing to him. Snap plays the box, and Yamas plays the guitar. So even for we call him Summer after Samara in the ring. Hey bastards, I didn't understand any of that. <laughs> hey bastards, I told them. They gave me death's touch sin. Suddenly I gasped again. But you don't have a lead singer, I asked. Lucian looked down sadly. I asked her, but she did. She contempted suicide by silting her wrists. Oh my fucking god, that's so fucking sad, I gasped. Oh, oh, sorry, you couldn't see, you you didn't see Tom Bombadil. You'll just have to imagine what we saw when we looked up Tom Bombadil in Google image search. <laughs> uh, sorry, that's so fucking sad. Oh, it's, who's Samaru? I... James, James Potter. Okay. It's okay, but we need a new lead snigger, Samaru said. <laughs> <laughs> well, dot, dot, dot. I said I'm in a banad myself. <laughs> really? Asked Snap. I couldn't believe it. He used to be gothic. Yeah, we called bl bloody gothic rose 666. Do you want to hear me sing? Yeah, said everyone. So the guys took out their, their guitars. They began to sing a song, a pay a song by, get it? Because by guys are so sexy, gern day. I walked this empty street on the boulevard of broken dreams, I sang sexily. I do not own the lyrics to that song. Everyone gasped. <laughs> and up be? Uh, and up be? Well, you join the band, please, begged Lucian some more serious and snap. Um, okay, I shrugged. <laughs> Are we going to play tonight? Yeah, they said. Okay, I said, but I knew that I had to get a new outfit. I walked outside wondering how I could go forward in time. Suddenly, someone jumped in front of me. It was t -t -t Morty McFly! <laughs> <laughs> he was wearing a black banad t-shirt and black ba baggy dream jeans. What the hell are you doing here? I asked. I will help you go forward to in Tim, Enneby, he said seriously. Then, dot dot dot, he took out a black time machine. Tim machine. Tim machine. <laughs> I went into it and dot dot dot, suddenly I was forward in Tim. He got there just in time. Thank you, Morty McFlee. <laughs> All right, next page. Chapter 36. Oh, we're almost at the end. Author's note. I said, stop flaming, okay? I bet you're all probably old 70 year olds. P.S. Porter sues you're a prep. All your and fangs to Raven for the help. Have fun in England, girl. 666. I lurked around in a depressed way. Oh. Suddenly I saw Professor Sinister. Be Lottie Mary, Socrates, Socrates, and Draco, Vampire, and Willow were there too. OM <laughs> OMFG, sorry, I saw you and Samara and Snip and everyone. I can't believe Snap used to be gothic. Yeah, I know, Sirius said sadly. Who's Socrates? Oh, Sirius must be Socrates. Uh, I think you're right. Yeah, I know. Uh, wait, did I, did I say that? Oh, no, I said that. Okay, Sirius said sadly. Oh, hey there, B, Professor Treville reset in an emo voice, drinking some Volsamort serum. So they're not going to address that, are they? <laughs> I guess Hi, not. Fuker, I said. Listen, Satan asked me out to a gothic con cornet and a movie, so I need a sex and new outfit for the date. Also, I'm playing in a gothic band, so I need an outfit for that too. <laughs> oh, my Satan! Get it, lols? Cause she's gothic, gaffed be Lottie Mary. Want to go to Hot Topic to shop for your outfit? OMFS, let's have a group cutting session, <gasps> said Professor Trevally. Oh, I can't fucking wait for that, but we need to get some stuff first, said Willow. Yeah, yeah we need some portions for Professor Trevally so she won't be addicted to Volsamort serum anymore and also Dot dot dot. Some love potion. Uh, some love potion for energy. <laughs> Darker said resultantly. Resultantly. <laughs> well, we have potions class now. Willow said. So let's go. We went sexily to potions class. 
but Snap wasn't there. Instead, there was dot 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 Cornelio Fuck. <laughs> hey, wh- hey, where the fuck is Dumbledore? Draco shouted angrily. SCFU! shouted Cornelia Fuck. He is an Azkaba- Az- Azkabian now, with Snip and Lupin. He is old and weak. He has cancer? Hmm. Now do your work. My friends and I talked angrily. Can you, be- can you believe Snap used to be gothic? Vampire asked surprisedly. That's it, Cornelia fuck shooted angrily. I'm getting Professor Bridge. He stopped out angrily. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, put her glass down, put their glass down angrily. <laughs> <laughs> Me friends and I began talking again. I began to drink some blood mixed with beer. Gross. Oh, suddenly I saw Beer is gross enough by oh, itself. <laughs> suddenly I saw Hagrid in the cupboard. WTF is he doing? I asked. Then I looked at Dr- oh, then I looked at Draco. He was wearing tons of eyeliner and he looked sexier than ever. Suddenly, dot dot dot. Hargrid, what the fuck are you doing? He shouted. I looked around, dot dot dot. Hargrid was putting something in my glass of blood! Darko and Vampire started to beat him up sexily. <laughs> God, you're such a poser one, I shouted at Hargrid. Suddenly I looked at what he was putting in the, blo- in the blood. It was, dot dot dot, amnesia portion! Jeez, Hargrid. Yeah. Jeez. What a horrible man. Chapter 37. Author's note. Okay, everybody, I'm going on vocation on the 1st of July, so I'm either gonna end the fic or update in it, we- it in weeks. Thanks! Oh yeah, and perhaps stop flaming sa story. Raven, thanks for the help. See you, girl, after vocation. 666. Darker's point of view, Ooh. lol. Ooh! Ah, shift! <laughs> yeah! Oh, that's, that's it. <laughs> I have like five sips to catch up. Oh, okay. Hmm. Vampire and I chained high hair grid to the floor. Oh my fucking Satan, Enneby said. She was so hot. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I could use amnesia potion to make Satan fall in love with me faster. But you're so sexy and wonderful anyway, Tata, said Tata. Vampire. <laughs> Why would you need it? Oh, to make everything go faster, lol, said Enneby. When you won't have to do it with him or anything, will you? I asked jealously. <laughs> OMFG, you guys are so scary, said Brittany, a fucking prep. Where did Brittany come from? <laughs> Shut the fuck up, said Willow. Okay, well anyway, let's go to Professor Travolry's room. Draco, Ebery, and I went to Professor Siniata's room, but Professor Sinister wasn't there. Instead, Tom Ridd was. Ooh. Tom Ridd! Oh, hi, fuckers, he <laughs> said. <laughs> Listen, I got you some cool new clothes. I, so I think that Tom Riddle is separate from Tom Bombadil in in this. Yeah, Tom Ridd and Satan are different people. And Voldemort. And it, this is weird. Mm. I took out the, the clothes from the bag. It was a gothic black leather miniskirt that said 666 on the back. Black stilton boots, blood red fishnets, and a black corset. OMG, fangs, I said, hugging him in a gothic way. <laughs> I took the clothes from the bag. Mm. How, how would you... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Professor Sinister, isn't HR what the fuck should we do? Isn't he right? Oh. <laughs> Asked Draco. Suddenly, he looked at a sign on the black wall. Oh my fucking Satan, I screamed as I read it. Hang on. Asked Draco. Isn't Draco the person... Yeah, he's the one who's meant to be telling this story. When did it change? They... Draco, Ebery, and I. Oh. So, like, now it's neither Ebony or, or Draco. <laughs> so who? Is it? <laughs> Who was phone? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, oh. Where are we up to? Um, oh, am I fucking Satan? I screamed as I read it. On it said, Everyone, Professor Sinister is away. She is too gothic. She is an Ascabian now. Classes shall be taught by Double Dork, who is back, but he <laughs> shall not be principal for now. Sincerely, Professor Rambridge. Oh, MFG! I, shall- I shot it angrily. How could they do that? Suddenly, Dumbledore came. What the? What the hell are you doing in my, doing in my office? He began to shoot angrily. 
Suddenly, I saw Morty McFly's black Tim machine. I jumped seductively in it, <laughs> into it, leaving Draco and Vampire. Suddenly, I was back in Tim. I looked around. Dot dot dot. It. Wait. I looked around. It was. Dot dot dot. Professor Slotborn's Ephes. I sneaked around. Suddenly, I saw the amnesia potion on his desk. It was black with blood red pentagrams in it. It was the shape of a cross. I put it in my pocket. Suddenly, the door opened. It was Professor Slutcorn. Oh no. OMG, what are you doing, Fuker? He shouted angrily. I don't know what the fuck are you doing, I shouted angrily. Oh sorry, I was just looking around because I thought it was class. You said, finally hoping he couldn't see the potion in your pocket. You said it? You? <laughs> no. Did this? Okay. Oh, okay, you can go now, said Professor Slotborn. You went into the conman room after putting on my clothes. Silas, Samaro, and Snap were there practicing Vampires Will Never Hurt You by MCR. Oh, hi, you guys, I said seductively. Oh, sorry, we're back to Ebony now, mm. everyone. We're back in familiar territory. Where's Satan? Oh, he's coming, said Sirius. By the way, you can call me Hades. <laughs> so, he's called Hades in the past, but in the present, he's serious. <laughs> Suddenly, Satan came. He was wearing a smexy black leather Jackson, <laughs> black Congress shoes, a slipknot t-shirt, and a black tie. Okay, I will see you guys at the concert, I said. And then it went with Satan. Aww. Chapter 38. Eight. Well, this note, what does everyone think if I end the story and then I add some more to it after vocation? Oh yeah, and perhaps stop flaming. If you do not like that story, then take my quiz, okay? Then you will see if you're gothic or not. Hmm. 666. Satan and I walked to his car. It was a black car with pentagrams all over it. On the license plate said 666, just like Dracker's car. I went in it seductively. Stan, st <laughs> Stan, oh, Satan. Stan started to drive it. We talked about Satanism. Lol, he was named after Satan. I don't know if you noticed that. Cutting, uh, cutting music and being gothic. Oh my Satan, Gerard is so fucking hot. Voldemort agreed as we smoked some weed. Cause bi guys are hot, they are so sensitive, I loved them, lol, girls fucks a bi guy. Lol, I totally decided not to commit suicide when I heard Helena. I said in a flirty voice. <coughs> hey Satan, do you know the cure for when people are addicted to Volksamort serum? Well, he thought, I think you have to drink vampire blood. Suddenly Volksamort parked the car behind a black movie theatre. <laughs> Satan and I walked outside. We went into the movie tether where they were showing The Exorcist. In it, a boy and a girl were doing it. Suddenly, a serial killer came in. Satan and I laughed at the blood because we're sadists. While Satan was watching the movie, I had an idea. I took Satan's gothic black nightmare, <laughs> nightmare before Christmas cigar, but it's the past, sexily from his pocket and put some amnesia potion in it. I put it back in his black em Emil the Strange bag. Satan turned around and started to smoke it. Black clouds with red pentagrams in them um, started to fly around everywhere. OMG, Satan said, jumping up. I gasped because I was afraid he'd noticed. Enemy, guess what? I knew that the amnesia had worked. Amnesia potion has not been invented yet, so it will not work. <laughs> he said, too bad because I wanted to use someone you? Cool. I raised my eyes suggestingly. And then, dot dot dot, he talked of my clothes sexily and we started to make out. I took off his shirt. He his had shit. six pack. Just, he, I took off his shit. He had six pack, just like Gerard Way. We Frenched. Excuse me, but you're going to have to leave, shooted the lady behind us. She was a prep. Fuck you, I said. Suddenly, I attacked her, sucking all her blood. No! She screamed. All the preps in the theater screamed, but everyone else crapped because <laughs> Satan and I looked so cute together. Satan and I started to walk outside. Z Z O M G! How did you do that? Voldemort asked in a turned-on voice. I'm a vampire, I said as we went into the car. Seriously? He gasped. Yeah, seriously, I said, drinking some beer. <laughs> Satan started to drive the car. I smelled happily. 
<laughs> it's too bad oh. we didn't get to see the rest of the movie don't you think yeah I said as we kissed passively Satan parked in a black driveway next to the place where Draco and I had watched GC for the first time we went inside where Marilyn Mason was playing and sat to mosh lol anti people now you've gone too far Jesus Christ superstar I don't know that song so I was probably not not doing that correctly screamed Marlon on the stage we did the devil fingers I started to dance really close to Satan he was so schmexy he looked at, oh what are devil fingers isn't that oh that? This, yeah this is devil fingers right <laughs> he looked at me all emo with his gothic red eyes and he looked exactly like Mikey Way I almost got an orgasm. Suddenly, Marilyn Mason stopped singing. I would like to peasant. X black X tier X, he said. I ran on stage. Lucian, Samaro, Snap and Hades were there. They started to play the instruments. I get on stag. Well, if you wanted honesty, that's all you had to say, I sang. I do not own the lyrics to that song. My voice sounded like a pentagram between Amy Lee and a girl version of Gerald Roy. <laughs> Everyone clapped. Satan got an eructation. I'm not okay, I sang finally. Suddenly Lucian started playing the song Wrong by Mistak. OMFG, yielded James. What the fuck? Whoops, I'm sorry, said Lucian. You fucking asshole, James shouted angrily. Asshole. Asshole. <laughs> you guys are such preps, Snap said. Come on, it was a mistake. Yeah, it's not his fault, said Sirius. No, he ruined the fucking song, yelled Samaro. Wait, who's Samaro again? Uh, Sirius, I thought. But yeah, I thought it was... <laughs> I'm so confused. You guys stop, I shouted angrily, but it was too late. They all began to fight. Suddenly, Samaro took out his knife. Oh, MFG, I don't know, shouted Lucan, <laughs> but it was too late. James tried to shoot off his arm. And then, dot, 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 I jumped sexily in front of the bullet. No, yielded everyone, but it was too late. Suddenly, everything went black. Dun, dun. Chapter 39. I am a trolling genius. Lols. Disclaimer. I do not own the HP series and I am not the real bloody wrist 666. Author's note. Oh, sorry, your turn. Oh, author's note. I am ex an extremely immature, pathetic idiot girl I know. Out of boredom, I crack this girl's passy for fun and it took less than eight minutes to do it too and will probably get in a shitload of trouble, which I probably deserve because I'm being a troll right now. Meh. And I present to you my crappy part in this story. And take note, I haven't even finished reading this fic yet, but instead skip over to Skim Chapter 38. Flame, laugh, do whatever you want, preps. I, the American retail-wearing British vampire, Sue, coughed up blood. Satan kneeled down beside me. No, don't die! I gave him a rueful smile. I'm sorry, it's something I had to do, to fulfill my duty as the noble gothic Mary Sue. Satan sobbed. I love you, Ebony. I love you too. I'll, I'll see you in hell, I mumbled, already finding my surroundings fading to black. Bloody Mary Smith suddenly popped into the room for no apparent reason. She frowned when she realised the room was utterly quiet. But at the sight of Ebony's lifeless body, she screamed. Her face became pale with horror. She screamed for the healers, Dumbledore, McGoogle, and every single gothic person she could think of. <laughs> Suddenly... A glow started to surround the body of Ebony. Everyone stated, stared in shock. Her body started to lift ever so slowly and then, to everyone's shock, it started to incinerate. When everyone realised what was happening, they rushed over to try to rescue the body, but it was too late. The Sioux became nothing more than a pile of ashes. Oh. A loud resounding of everyone bellowing, No! filled the room. A flash of white light from the ashes then started to bounce around the room. Everyone cowered in fear and were temporarily blinded. When it was all over, things changed. Mm. All the silly goth clothes dropped from, from everyone's bodies. Author's note, I will refuse to explain how the hell that happened. And in their place, clothes the characters would normally wear in canon appeared on their bodies. When everyone got over the shock of becoming free of the gothic power, everybody cheered. Everyone started singing, ding dong, the Sioux is dead. Well, that is until all the HP characters realize the true implications of becoming more canon-like again. 
All the characters who were supposed to be dead fell to the floor, their bodies cold and lifeless. Harry and Voldemort started dueling on the left side of the two. The battle of the light side and the dark side were reaching a climax. And because the replacement author also likes to screw around with canon, Draco and Hermione fled the scene and got married. Meanwhile, down in hell, Ebony shed a single tear because of her current situation. A situation that would live on for all eternity, or at least until the end of fan fiction time. She lost it all, but she knew she had to remain strong. Nothing would ever break her down. She looked down over her pale body and frowned. Where are my emo clothes? She asked herself in confusion. And then it occurred to her. For her shirt, she was wearing a bright pink polo with a little seagull on the right or left, I can't remember, side. Below that, she was wearing a denim miniskirt with the destroyed look on it. Paired underneath that skirt were leggings with a little moose at the bottom. Aww. And then Ebony realised on her shoulder she was carrying a pretty bag with an eagle on it that said, Live your life, written all over the bag. Ebony suppressed the urge to scream. Here she was decked out in clothes prep to the extreme wearing stuff from Abercrombie and Fitch, American Eagle and Hollister. Panicked, Ebony hastily tried to take up the Hollister, excuse me, polo, but underneath it, there was another Hollister polo underneath. Ebony frowned and looked under her shirt. All she saw was a bra underneath. Dare I point out it's from the airy line available at American Eagle? Ebony tried to remove the shirt again, but to her frustration, there was yet again another polo to replace it. This is unlogical and does not make any sense, Ebony bellowed out to the air. She failed to see the irony in her, in her statement, how hypocritical her words were, seeing as she was practically calling the kettle black here. Ebony slit her wrists and mumbled to herself, Oh my god. End crap fic. Author's note. Oh yeah, if you want to see the original content this chick had planned for this chapter, I access it through the document manager thingy, which I copied and pasted so you can read it here. Author's note. STFU preps, get a lift. You suck. Oh, and form now on, I'll be on vocation in England until like August, so I won't be able to update for a while. Lol, thanks to everyone who reviewed, except the, the preps who flamed for Q. MCR rule 666-666. I woke up in Norse's office with on a special goth gothic coffin. Hairgrid was in the bed opposite me in a comma because Vampir and Draco, Draco, Draco had bet him up. <laughs> Mr. Norris was cleaning the room. Oh, me Satan, what happened? I screamed. Suddenly, Volsamort came. He looked less mean than usual. Get the fuck out, you fucking bastard, I yielded. Thou hath not killed vampire yet, he said angrily. <laughs> Suddenly he started to cry tears of blood, all selective. Volsamort? Oh, MFG, what's wrong? I asked. Suddenly, dot dot dot, Lucian, Professor Sinister, and Sirius came. Be Bloody Mary and Vampire were with them. Everyone was holding black boxes. Volsamort disappeared. Ooh. Oh, MFG, Enneby, you're alive, screamed Vampire. I hugged him and be Bloody Mary. What the? Fuck happened? I asked them. Oh my Satan, am I like dead now? I gasped. <laughs> Enneby, you were almost shot, said Sirius, but the ballad could not kill you since you were form another time. But fangs anyway, said Lucian, holding Lucy's arm. I gasped. He had two arms. OMG, I can't believe Vampire's dad shot you, I gasped. Oh, well, to be honest, Snap was possessed by Snap. Back then, <laughs> said James. <laughs> yeah, he was a spy, Sirius said sadly. He was really a death dealer. And he, and he was such a fucking powerful too, said Lucian. He didn't even really know who Jesse was until I told him. <laughs> you sound like the Godfather. That's amazing. <laughs> I haven't even seen the movie. <laughs> Well, anyway, everyone tarted to give me presents. I was opening a black box with red 666s. There was a DVD of Corpse Bride in it. On it, were, when I gasped. Mr. Norris looked up angrily because he hated goths. Hey, has anyone fucking seen Draco? <laughs> I asked gothically. No, Draco told me he would be watching Hose of Wax, said Professor Cherfolry. He doesn't know that you're better. Anyway, the Norris said you could get up. Come on. I got up suicidally. Lucian, Sirius, and Professor Sinister left. I was wearing a black leather nightgun. Un oh. Under that, I had on a sexy black leather bra, trimmed with black lace, with a matching thong that said gothic girl on the butt, and sexy fishnets that kind 
hooked onto my thumb. If you don't get the idea, massage me, I'll tell you. Hmm. You'll come to me on the day of my daughter's good Charlotte concert. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I put on a black fishnet top under a black MCR t-shirt, a black leather mini with black lace and congress shoes. I left the hospital's wings with B. Bloody Mary, Willow and Vampire. OMFG, let's celebrate, gasped Willow. We can go see Hose, Hose of Wax with Draco. I mean, we can go see Hose of Wax with Draco, giggled Vampire. Oh, let's go listen to GC and cut ourselves, 666, said Hermione. We opened the conmen room door sexily. And then, dot dot dot, I gasped, dot dot dot, Draco was there doing it with Snap! <laughs> what? <laughs> he was wearing a black t shirt with 666 on the front and baggy knees. That is definitely a twist I did not see coming. Me neither. You fucking prep, we all yielded angrily. Yeah, you betrayed us, shooted Vampire angrily as he took out his black gun. <laughs> No, you don't understand, screamed Draco sadly as he took his thingy out of snakes. So they had their penises in each other. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> yeah. No shit, you fucking suck, you preppy bastard, said Willow, trying to attack him. You rock girl. I ran suicidally to my room. I sexily took a stake out. Anarchy, no, screamed Draco, but it was too late. I had slipped my wrists with it. Suddenly everything, everything went black again. Sincerely, an unknown author who will silently not reveal her identity because she's a coward. A.K.A. just a troll with rocks for brains. There you go. Troll meet troll, I guess. Yes. And this is the finale. Uh, well. Okay. So, hmm. hmm. This is the... Idiot... Oh. Chapter 40. Lol, someone has taken my account over. The idiot's note. Well, this was in the dock area. Might as well let the whole world see what the real Tara wanted to show us. Have a nice day. Idiot's note. Uh, they know terrible. But then again, this wouldn't be called the worst fanfic ever if not for the fact that the writing standards meet the level of a day-old fetus. Oh, that's actually quite impressive for a day-old fetus, honestly. So that's the end? Uh, oh. There's, I think, two more chapters? Oh, okay. Yeah. Probably your bedtime soon, huh? Ah, it is. <laughs> Chapter 41, author's note, to everyone who keeps flaming, does git so life. I bet you probably oughtn't know who Gerard Way is. You pro you're probably all preps and posers. Anyway, someone hacked into me account in November and they put up my last chapter, but now this is a new one. I'm sorry for not updating G for a while, but I've been really busy. I'm trying to finish the story before the new movie comes out. I'm gone on vacation for a month and I won't be back until about two weeks. OMFG, Draco is so hot in all the pics for the new movie. I wanted them to put a cameo by Gerard, Gerard Way, lol. He has played Draco. If you flame, I'll slip my wrists. Raven, you rock girl, have fun in England. 666. When I woke up, I was in a strange room. I looked around. I was wearing the same outfit I had when it's performed with X Black X Tier X 1 1. It's really hard to say. Yeah. <laughs> I looked around, around confusedly. It was the nurse's office, but it looked different. On the, on the wall was a pic of Mary, uh, Mar, Marlion Monzon. Just imagine that he is an 80s gothic band to OK because he is more old than Panic at the Disco or MCR. There was also a gothic black Beatles calendar with a picture of the Beatles wearing eyeliner and black clothes. What? Hmm. On it said 1980. OMFG, I'm back in Tim again, I screamed loudly. Suddenly, Satan, this is actually Voldemort for photo reference. Mm, that's it. <laughs> okay, so it is Vol Satan. Tom Bombadil is... Vol Voldemort was wearing a black leather jacket, black tight jeans, and fishnet pants. Fishnet pants? Fishnet pants. Mm. <laughs> yeah, we said that like three times. <laughs> he looked so sexy, I almost had an orgy. <laughs> OMFG, NB, are you okay? He asked gothically. Yeah, I'm okay, for your information. I snapped sexily. OMG, am I dead? Because I remembered I had jumped in front of the bullet from James's gun. I also remembered seeing Draco doing it with Snap. I guessed that when I said slit me wrists, I had went back in time instead of dying. What? 
Okay, I, 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 I could go forward in time if I found a time turner or the Tim machine. No, you're not dead, Satan reassured suicidally as he smoked a cigarette sexily and smoke came all over his face. You're a vampire, so you can't die from a bullet. Come on now, let's go see how Harry's dad is doing. I know that the real reason I didn't die from the bullet was because I was from the future. WTF. James almost shot Lucius, I said indig in I yeah. I knew that James had really been possessed, but I didn't want him to know I knew. Yeah, I know, but he had a headache because he was under a lot of stress. Um, Satan reasoned evilly. <laughs> I guess that's okay, I said, because James hadn't really shot Lucian. Also, I knew that Lucian would now have two arms instead of one. <laughs> I really, I completely missed that plot point. <laughs> I walked seductively outside with Satan. Suddenly, I saw a totally sexy gothic by guy. He had bletched blonde hair with black streaks up to his ears, and he was wearing gothic black eyeliner, a black Green Day shirt. It showed Billy Joel with blonde hair since it was the 80s, black Congress shoes and black baggy pants. He walked in all sexy like Gerard Way in the video for I Don't Three You Like I Did Yesterday, and you, you could see a black tear on his face like the one in that, that video. Hey, he said all quietly and gothically. Who the fuck is that? I asked angrily because I did not know him. This is... Dot, dot, dot. Hedwig! Said Volsamore. He used to be an x black x tier x 2 but he had to drop out because he broke his arm. Oh. Hey, Hedwig, I said seductively, even though I was not trying to be. <laughs> Lol. Hi, Annabi, he answered. But then he ran away because he had hair of a magical creature. He was humming, <laughs> welcome to the black parade, under his breath. I know that is not 80s, but pretend it is, okay? Bye, I said all sexily. That was Hedwig. He used to be my boyfriend, but we broke up, Satan said sadly, looking at his black nails. OMFG, I can get you back together, I said, fingering something I didn't know was in my pocket. A black cute is what we aim for Cidio iPod, that I could take videos with. Does anyone know about them? They kick as Huh. Uh, okay, you can forget about your class for now, Hedwig. Wait, Hedwig went away. I'm going to show you something great. I led them to the great to the great hall. Come on, you guys. Lucian, James, Sirius, and Snake were all in the great hall. Lucian wouldn't talk with James because he tried to shoot him as fair enough. <laughs> Go fuck yourself, you fucking douche, she shouted at him. Draco is never going to be friends with Vampire now. What? <laughs> what? He sees the future. He sees the future. <laughs> yeah, go fuck yourself, Samaro. Snape agreed, but I know he was lying because it had been his fault James had almost shot Lucian. Be quiet, you guys, I said sexily. Me plan was working out great. Now I could make Voldemort good without doing it with him. Now Vampire's dad would never die. And okay, Satan and Hed Hedwig, you guys can start making out, I said, and started to film them with the iPad? iPod? Cool, said Sirius <laughs> as Voldemort and Hedwig started to make out sexily. We watched as they started to take each other's clothes off, clothes off sexily. Samaro, Sirius, Snake and Lucian all watched because they were probably by. I know Snape was by. Oh my fucking god, Voldemort, Voldemort, screamed Hedwig as his glock touched Voldemort. <laughs> The Black Parade. Author's note, OMG, the new book is coming out really soon, I can't wait. I think that Snap will be really the same person as Voldemort, because they are both half-blood, so that will explain why he killed Dumbledore and he hated Harry. <laughs> <laughs> and then, Harry will have to commit suicide so Voldemort will die, because he will really be a Horcrux. OMG, I hope Draco and Harry get together, that will be so schmexy, won't it? If they don't, then JKR is homophobic. <laughs> Thanks for the help with facts. Medusa, you rock. 666. I sat depress depressedly in Dumbledore's office with Hedwig, Satan, James, Sirius, Snap and Lucian. 
Dumbledore was sitting in front of us cruelly. <laughs> he looked more young than he did in the future. Well, 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 duh. <laughs> he had taken the iPod away and was now listening to a shitty Avril Lavigne song. Wait, wait. So it's her iPod. So the shitty Avril Lavigne song is on, is on her, her iPod. iPod. Mm. <laughs> what the hell is this anyway he cackled meanly i hoped he didn't find out that i was from another time whatever you do don't blame ebony you jerk satan said yeah seriously she was trying to get satan and hedwig back together sirius said deviantly be quiet you satanists <laughs> dumbledore cockled <laughs> if you're lucky i'll probably send you all to akazaban that will teach you to copulate in the great hall <laughs> he changed the song of the ipod to uh, NSYNC song. Suddenly, I noticed something strong about the iPod. It was slowly chonking. Dumbledore didn't notice. You fucking poser, I muttered. <laughs> I bet you've never heard of JC. I mean, GC, James said. Ran out of water. No, I knew what the iPod was chonging into. Morty McFly's time machine! <laughs> <laughs> shut up, Jones, Draco's dad shouted. <laughs> yeah, shut up, Snake said preppily. No, you shut up, Dumbledore, said Tom. I've had enough of you satanists in my school, shouted Dumbledore spuriously. Suddenly, I grabbed the iPod from him. Everyone, jump in before it's too late! I jumped into it, but only one other person jumped in. It was Satan. Oh, mm. you dunderheads! What, 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 what? Screamed Dumbledore wisely as we went. I looked around. I was in the Slytherin conmen room with, with Satan. I was wearing a black plaid mini skirt with hot pink fishnets, a sexy black MCR corset, and black stiletto boots with pink, pink pentagrams on them. My earrings were Blake Satanist sins, Oops. and my raven hair was all around me to my mid black. Hey, cool, where is this? he asked in an emo voice. This is the future. Dumbledore's iPod that he tried to take away from me was really also a Tim machine, I told him. Cool. What's an eye patch? He wimped him. Why is she, he like, he's the villain, so why is she helping him? Why, indeed. <laughs> it's something you use to listen to music, I yacked. OMFG, cool. Wait, what's a four letter word for dirt? He asked in a sexy voice. Um, I guess sand. I laid confusedly. Oh, yeah, I was just trying to make sure you were still the same person, he triumphantly giggled. <laughs> huh? Okay, suddenly some of my friends walked in. OMG, you're fucking alive, said Ginny wearing a black leather ja jacket, black baggy pants and a gothic black from first to last shirt. I explained to her why I was alive. Konnichiwa, bitch, said Willow. <laughs> she was wearing a black corset showing off her boobs with lace all around it and red stripes on it. With it, she was wearing a black leather miniskirt, big black boots, white foundation, black eyeliner, red eyeshadow, and black lipstick. Did I read that she was wearing? Yes. Yes, yes. I did. Yeah. Hey, motherfucker, said Diabolo with his red hair. That's the first time he's spoken, I think, in this entire <laughs> he's thing. He's mentioned a lot, though. Yeah. <laughs> he was wearing a black... P question mark ATD T shit and black black baggy pants. Hey, who's that, Ebony? B Luddy Mary questioned as she walked in wearing a black T shirt with a red pentagram on it with lace at the bottom, red leather pants with black lace and black stilettos. Um Oh, it's Satan, I told her, and she nodded knowing the truth. <laughs> Suddenly Satan started to cry. Are you okay, Satan? We asked concerning He's the bad guy, the whole point was OMFG, you're from the future one. What if you don't like me anymore because we're from different times? He asked. No, I still like you. I said sexy. Drake, her. <laughs> okay, he said reassuredly. Oh, wait, sorry. I let him listen to Teenagers by MCL on my iPod while I was about to go outside to find out some things. I gave Diabolo a signal to keep Satan occupied. Satan fell asleep. I took the iPod. I was about to walk outside. Professor Sinister ran in. She was wearing a gothic black mini dress with depressing black stripes, white and black strip tights, and red Converse shoes. She was wearing lots of black Eleanor. Oh my fucking god, where's Draker? How did Snap get back here? I told I too hot he was in Azerbaijan. <laughs> I asked sadly. <laughs> Ebony, I was so worried about you, but I know you can't fucking die because you're a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Vampire. Snape came back because that girl Brittany freed him. Oh, I never liked her. She was a bad student. Travolry said reassuredly. That B. Did she also free Hargrid and Lupin? I shouted angrily. I hated Brittany because she was a fucking prep. Yes, they are on the loose at the school. <laughs> Dumbledore is back. Cornelia is on his way to help everyone. Tell everyone you see to lock themselves in their conman room, Travolry said worriedly. Okay, but where's Draco? How come he was doing it with Snap? I don't know why, but I know he almost tried to commit suicide after he saw you almost kill yourself, he said. OMG, that's terrible, I gasped. Satan was still asleep, so he couldn't tell what was going on. Then I said, listen everyone, I have something in Peter Impton to do. In, <laughs> in here, everyone stay. With that, I ran out. Good luck, Tara! Tara? Everyone cried. I ran sexily down the sta stairs into the great hall while the portraits around looked at me scaredly. There was hardly anyone else in the stairs and there was an atmosphere of horror. On the way, I saw Brittany laughing on the stairs. She was wearing a slutty pink shirt with flowers on it, a blue jean skirt, Abercrombie and pink stilettos. She looked just like a pentagram of those fucking preps Hilary Duff and Lindsay Lohan. You fucking bitch, I shouted angrily. No, you're totally a bitch. Now Voldemort will like totally kill you, she laughed. Crucius! I shouted, selectively point pontificating my black wand, and she started screaming because she was being tortured, and I laughed sadistically. No, help me, please! Brittany screamed terrifiedly. I put out my middle <laughs> finger at her. In her hand, I saw the video camera Snape and Lumpen, and she used to take the video of me. I put the tape of Voldemort doing it with Hedwig onto it. Then I continued to round down the stairs with the camera. When I had reached the Great Hall, I saw Vampire Potter. OMG, Vampira, I yielded. We hugged each other happily. <laughs> <laughs> he looked at me with his gothic red eyes and spiky black hair. Around them were black eyeliner and eyeshadow. <laughs> His, he was wearing a black leather Jackson, leather pants, a Panic at the Disco concert shirt, and his black Congress shoes. He looked more like Joel from Good Charlotte than ever. Did you hear the song The River It Rocks? I was so what? worried. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I was so worried you died, Mount Vampire. I know, but I'm a vampire, lol. When I woke up, I was back in 1980. So anyway, I bought, bought Voldemort from when he was young with me. I need to go to the bathroom. Okay. Have too much water. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> I'll just keep going till you're back. Where's Draco? I asked. <laughs> Draco? You mean that fucking poser who betrayed you? Vampire snarkled with anger in his sexy voice. Oh, Sean, I'm not wearing my headphones. <laughs> Joke's on you. <laughs> uh, I know, but we have to find him, I said, smarty. I'll do it then, Harry said angstily. Okay, I agreed. Suddenly, dot, dot, dot. All the lights in the room went out, and then, dot, 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 the dark mark appeared. Oh, my fucking Satan, Harry shouted. I think Voldemort has a rift, I said anxiously. Fuck, I have to find Draco. I guess we should separate. Okay, Vampire said, dipperating. Sadly, I ran into the great hall. I'm sorry, Sean. Wait, sorry, let me just, what, what happened? So we have to find... The dark mark appeared. Voldemort, I have... To... Okay, yeah, that didn't make any sense, so it's okay to keep going. Oh, wait, was that the... Oh, no. Chapter 43. Author's note. I think after this I will have about two or three more chapters. Thanks to all my reviewers and not dust flamers. If you flamed this, sto this story, then you suck. If you flammed, then fuck you, 666. I walked sexily into the great hall. It was, excuse me, it was empty except for one person. Draco was there. He sat there in the deadly bloom in his black 666 shirt and his baggy black pants. He had slit his wrists. One, one, one. I felt mad at him for having sex with Snape, but I felt sorry for him. He looked just like Gerard Way with his red eyes and his pale white face. Draco, are you okay? I asked. I'm not okay, he screamed depressedly. I thought of the MCR song and I got even more depressed because that song always makes me cry. I gave him a pot cigarette and he started to smoke it. He smoked the weed like a cigarette. Oh, Draco, why did you do it with that fucking bastard Snape? I asked Tear Dolly. I 
Sigh, Dracos began to say, but suddenly Lupin and Mr. Norris appeared into the room. They didn't see us. I'm, I'm so glad me and Snape were freed, said Lupin. Damn, this job would be great if it weren't for the fucking students, Mr. Norris agreed, agreed. Pop Adelum! <laughs> he yelled at angrily, pointing my wand at them. No! Lupin shouted as chains came on him. Mr. Norris ran away. You fucking perv! I said, laughing with depths of evil and depressedness in my voice. Now you have to tell us where Voldemort is or I'm going to torture you. I don't know where he is, said Lupin. Suddenly Satan and Vampire ran into the room. Vampire didn't know who Satan was really. Oh my Satan, we were so worried about you guys, Vampire said. I looked sexily at Draco with his gothic red eyes with contacts, black t-shirt that said 666 on it, and pale skin like Gerard Way. Vampire with his sexy black hair and red eyes, just like Frank Yarrow. And Satan, who looked just like Bren Brandon Yuri. Then... I selectively took the caramel from my pocket, and then dot dot dot, I began Frenching Draco sexily. Lupin gasped. Draco began to take all of his clothes off, and I could see his white sex pack. Then Vampire took his own clothes off too. We all began making out together sexily. I took off my black leather bra, my black lace thong, and the rest of my clothes. <laughs> Just do the underwear first. Everyone took their glocks out, except for me. I'm a girl, lol. Oh, oh. Miss Satan, Draco, I screamed as he put his hardness in my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Then he did the same thing to Harry. Where, where did Harry come from? Uh, I, I think he, Vampire was there and Vampire is Harry. I, uh, okay. <laughs> I began making out with Satan and he joined in. OMS, cri uh, OMS, cried Vampire. Oh, Vampire, Vampire, I screamed, screamed. Oh, Satan, yelled Harry and Plesor. Lupin watched in shock. We took turns doing torture curses on him because we were all sadists. Suddenly, dot, dot, dot. A big black car that said 666 on the license plate flew straight through the windows and Snap was in it. So I don't really know what happened in between when you left and when you came back. Like, it's basically just this orgy oh, in terms oh, of content. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, and this is the last chapter. Cool. Chapter 44. Author's note. Well, I have nothing to say but... Everyone, stop glamming, okay? If any gothic people are reading this, then you rock. OMG, I still can't wait for the movie. Tom Fleeton is so hot, lol. I hope Harry will become gothic, because me friend told me he's really emo in this book. OMFG, I'm leaving W pretty soon. Can't wait. This will probably be the last, the last chapter until I come back. 666. Oh, 666. <laughs> That's me car, shooted Draco angrily, but suddenly it was revealed who was in the car. It was dot dot dot. Snape! I shall free you, Lupin, but first you must help me kill these idiotic donderheads, he said cruelly from the car as it flew circumcising above us. <laughs> Ebony darkness, dementia raven way, must be killed. Then the dork lord shall never die. <laughs> you fucking prep, yelled Draco. <laughs> Then he looked at me sadly. <laughs> oh, he looked at me sadly. I forgot to tell you, Ebony. Snape made me do it with him. I didn't really have sex with him, but he's a ropist. <gasps> oh, my goodness. We all put our clothes on quickly, except Satan. <laughs> we were so scarred, but Satan didn't change. Instead, he changed into a man with green eyes. Wait, he had red eyes before. Yeah. <laughs> green eyes, no nose, a grey robe, and white skin. He had changed into... Dot, dot, dot. Voldemort! <laughs> <laughs> I knew who thou were all along, he cackled evilly and sarcastically at me. Now I shall kill thee all. Thunder came in the room. No, please don't kill us, pleaded Vampire. Suddenly, Willow, Be Bloody Mary, Diabolo, Ginny, Dracula, Fred and Gorge, Hagrid, McGonagall, Dumbledore, Sirius, and Lucian all ran in. <laughs> what is the meaning of this? Dumbledore asked all angrily, and Voldemort looked away, because Dumbledore is the only wizard he is scared of. He did a spell, and suddenly his, drum, his broomstick came to him sexily. Hmm. Voldemort flew above the roof evilly on his broomstick. Oh my goth! Slugborn gasped. Get it? Because I'm gothic. 
The Dark Lord shall kill all of you. Then you must submit to him, Snape ejaculated menacingly. <laughs> you fucking preppy... Sirius shouted angrily. <laughs> I know a four-letter word for dirt. Cruciatus! What the hell is this four-letter word for dirt thing that they keep bringing up? No is idea. Is it a song lyric or something? Maybe? Cruciatus! <laughs> screamed Harry, but the sparks from his wand only hit Draco's car. It fell down, snapped quickly, crawled out of it, and picked up the Sidier camera. Oh my fucking god! I cried because the video of me in the bathroom... The video of me dong it with a Draco and the video of Satan doing it with... If you kill me, then these videos will be shown to everyone in the skull. Then you can be just like that gothic girl Paris Hilton. He laughed meanly. No, I screamed. FYI, I have the picture of you doing it with Lupin. What's she talking about? Lupin slurped as he sat in chains. I saw too. She's going to show everyone the picture. Harry shouted angrily. Shut up. Lumpkin roared. Foolish ignoramuses, yielded Voldemort from his broomstick. Thou shall all die soon. Think again, you fucking muggle poser, Harry yelled. And then he and Diabolo and Neville both took out black guns. <laughs> but Voldemort took out his own one. She wants the flamers to help her with a crossword. That's <laughs> why it's like for all the word for dirt. <laughs> um... You guys are in a Latin standoff, I shouted disparagingly. Acker Neville's wand, cried Voldemort, and suddenly Neville's wand was, wind was in his hands. Now I shall kill thee all, and Ebony, you will die. He made lighting come all over the place. Save us, save us, Ebony, Dumbledore cried. I cried sexily. I just wanted to go to the com to the common room and slit my wrists with me friends while we watched Shark Attack 3 and Saw 2 and do it with Draco, but I knew I had to do something more impotent. Abracadabra! I shooted. And I believe <gasps> that's the end of the story. <laughs> wow! How's that for a cliffhanger? We, we did, did it! it. Yay! Did. Yeah, that is a real cliffhanger. Mm -hmm. I wonder if it was meant to end there. Yeah, I wonder too, because I mean, it is a good ending, like Abracadabra, but then again, all of her chapters kind of are meant to end on a sort of cliffhanger, mm -hmm. so who can say? Who can say? Who is the visual say? novel going to cover all of these 43 chapters? That was my thought, but I'm thinking maybe it would be good to do it in chunks, just okay. just for time purposes, and also, you know, we can see whether the project is fun, and then keep doing it if we have time, and mm -hmm. yeah. That was what my thought was. Coolies. Yeah. Awesome. That's great. Okay, it's my bedtime, so I am going to go off now. Yeah, it's way past your bedtime. It is. <laughs> I'm such a nana. Shall I take your glasses? Oh, yes, please. Thank you so much for um, for doing these, these little streams with me. They've been okay. lots of fun. Same here. Yeah, thanks for having me. <laughs> Bye. Good night. Ciao.